Hello everybody, welcome to Azenam TV, and today is Tuesday, November 16th. I am just doing fine and dandy. I actually uh, slept really well last night, I actually fell asleep at 12.40ish or something, so I slept pretty well. So a couple of the craziest things that got my mind going today, uh, a couple days ago I actually just got some really crazy weird letter in the mail. And it wasn't addressed to me, nor anybody that lives in my house. It is actually a letter addressed to somebody in England. Now, the reason why I think it was sent here was because the address is somewhat similar. This one is supposed to be sent to a Mr. Barry Lawford in Whitfield in the UK. So I have the letter right here. I know that's upside down, but anyway... And it's from somebody named Janet Reed. But the address is somewhat similar to mine, so I think that's why they sent it here. But how could they mistake... It clearly says England at the bottom there for here in New York State. Uh, I don't know how much postage it takes to go across the pond. Believe it or not, this is actually the second time I received this letter. If you actually look really close right here, there's this little tape that's actually keeping on the... Uh, return address. I actually put that tape on the first time I got this mail and it has come back and I just thought people would figure out, oh hey, this doesn't belong here. Barry Lawford, I'm sorry, but you're not going to get your letter anytime soon. I'm sending this back to Janet Reed. Janet Reed of Milpitas, California. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. Milpitas? Milpitas? I don't know. Whatever. Here it is. Return to sender. Return to sender. I finally brought home this little thing that I actually got when I was eating lunch maybe a couple weeks ago. You know when you have like french fries at those random fast food restaurants? I, I went to Wendy's. You don't normally see one of these things and this kind of might look like a normal one. And if you look really close, it might actually look like two. But if you actually take a look at this very closely, you'll actually see that this piece is actually attached to this other piece. So let me just show you how that looks. And then on the inside here, this piece is actually attached like this. What they actually did was they took the front end of the one in the back, and then the back end of the one in the front, and this is what you get. So, yeah. Isn't that crazy? This actually reminds me of some crazy fast food stories. I actually used to eat fast food a lot, you know, back in high school when I did my part-time job. If you didn't know, I used to work at a video store called Blockbuster. I actually used to keep track of what these fast food places would do wrong or right, and I would just kind of like keep a tally in my mind of who, who owes what. Way back in the day, I used to love chicken tenders. I kind of cut down on that because they're not really that good for you. They, they were supposed to be five-piece chicken tenders, but I only got four pieces a couple times. So at that point, they owed me two chicken tenders. Um, I think Burger King is probably the most notorious for not correctly giving me my burger. So if I say, like, no pickles, they still give me pickles like more often than all of the other places. drive through at Taco Bell. You wouldn't believe the stupidity of... This one girl cashier, I think she was the same cashier every time because I would try and give them some weird, you know, amount of money. And I don't know what it was with this girl, but she gave me like a dollar and 25 cents or something when she was supposed to give me 75 cents back. That was weird because she did this twice. Uh, I don't know if those were the exact dollar amounts. It was probably a little bit different. It was like six something and I gave seven. Anyway... It, Twice, she ended up giving me 50 cents more. Can't believe it. Oh my god, this girl was so stupid when you have the register and you just put in this, the exact amount in which I pay, and all you have to do is count out the money back. And she couldn't even do that. Can you guys believe that there are people like this? I, I'm up a dollar at Taco Bell. Plus... They messed up my order once. This is <laughs> the stupidest thing. I ordered something with three tacos and a drink, but I ended up getting like 10 tacos. And this was at the drive-thru, so they gave it to me. I didn't even check to see it was correct because, you know, you know, I didn't want to get out of the car. The line at the drive-thru was long. Well, all right, let's just go. But we were like, oh my God, they gave me three times my order. <laughs> so 
yeah, so I basically ended up making off with somebody else's order of like 10 tacos. I'm definitely interested in people who have tried to order things like the uh, the McGangbang. Have you guys ever heard of that? The McGangbang. It's like this crazy sandwich, a double cheeseburger, and you put a McChicken like in the middle. It's like a big sandwich because it's like a double cheeseburger with a McChicken in it. I I've seen some videos on YouTube. They're hilarious. I haven't tried this myself, but maybe one of these days, so. Do you guys have any crazy fast food stories to tell? If you do, uh, please uh, put them in the comments below or send a video response. If you enjoyed, please hit the subscribe button. Everybody have a good night.